To make an environment for our cicada really means how, let, let, let's make a display for our artwork. So there are so many different ways that we can do it. And if you think about it, we're at this point of the year where your imagination and your creativity is sky high. So what I'm gonna show you is just a few things that you can do, but by no means are these the only things you can do. What you have to make, uh, like the, the, the supplies you have at your house can sometimes dictate um, what you uh, what what you can make your 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 display or your environment out of, and if you don't have anything, you can use something as simple as a stick. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways to use a stick. Um, it's just like this is when you can just use everything that you have in your brain to think about to use to make something really awesome for your sculpture. So um, uh, I have a couple of things right now that I made out of cardboard. The first one I made is out of a box. And this is just a box that I got, um, that, our, that our garbage bags come in and I saved the box. But what I did is I cut out little areas and then with uh, a, a shopping bag that I got, I think at Metcalf's, I just cut out um, parts of the bag that, um, uh, that didn't have any writing on it. And then I just, I taped them over uh, these shapes I made. And the reason for this is because sometimes a box can be really dark and we're not, you know, like a lot of times we're showing something in the, um, you know, that's, that's supposed to look like it's in the daytime. So if we cut out little areas of the box, a lot of light can come in. You can even see from like right in here, the light coming from here is shining into the box in a really cool way. Um, so this is, the, 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 this is one way to use a box. You can use any kind of box you have. If you have like a tissue box, uh, a shoe box, even a lid to something um, will, will work. And so in, in the bottom, I just put some green paper and then I cut out um, like a little, let's call it like a fence of, um, for, for grass. And then I'm not gonna put this, I'm not gonna put this in here. I'm not gonna tape it in just now, but you know, I can kind of get it to stand up in a cool way. And then, you know, I'll be able to, oh, you get the idea. I'll be able to put my cicada in there. So this is one I made from last week. You know, I could put that in there in a cool way. And then I'll put the, uh, it's going to take me a second to kind of figure out where I want to put it, how I want to get it in there. Um, but, you know, I put the cicada in there and then I'm going to put my little grass in there. And then I've got a display that looks like it could like, be a, like a miniature display from a museum, which is pretty cool. So this is just a piece of cardboard. It was, um, you can see, I used it as like a scrap piece um, for doing some painting. And uh, I made a couple cuts in it. And so you can see that I have cut it a little bit. And what I did on this side is I put, um, I put some grass, I, I just cut, I used a green piece of paper and I just, I cut some blades of grass or, you know, like shapes of grass. And then I put a border or uh, I put a background right here where I used two pieces of green paper. And so now if I, I have something like this, I can fit one of my little guys in there. Actually, one of my big guys. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? And this little, this little uh, piece in the back, it can, it'll, um, I kept it here so that I could just kind of stand it up. Um, but it's sometimes the, like, I, I, I like this because um, it's nice to see that with just a single piece of cardboard, you can make um, a cool display. It's, I mean, I, I think that this would be an environment or something, you know, I mean, look at that. That's kind of cool, right? So let's say you have no cardboard, you have no boxes, you have no paper, no problem. Go out in your backyard or go on a nature walk and find a bunch of sticks. If you get a few sticks, um, you can fashion them together in whatever way makes sense to you. Um, here, I just, I joined uh, these one, two, three, four sticks with, um, with just some pipe cleaners. And what I like about this, like I haven't, I don't know if I've totally finished this, but like right here, you know, if I, if I use something, uh, you know, to, to sort of 
like maybe I take like a piece of string, um, I can put it on here and then I can um, hold it up. This is pretty cool. I could put a couple little sculptures on here. That's really fun. Here's another really fun uh, uh, way to make um, a structure to display your cicadas. So I'm gonna start with two sticks. Uh, they're about uh, about the same uh, in width and in length, and some yarn. That's it. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever. Um, I think some of you know about God's eyes. We've we've made them sometimes at camp. Um, but I'm going to show you a, a really fun way to to make a display. And also, just in case you've forgotten, I'm going to show you uh, how to make a God's eye. Um, so I have these two sticks and I'm holding them, uh, like this so that they are, you know, it's about equal length. I'm going to take this string and I'm going to hold it with my thumb and I got to secure these two sticks together. So I'm first going to go a bunch of ways this way, and then I'm going to turn my stick, my two sticks, and I'm going to go, I'm going to go a bunch of ways this way. And I, th that should give it enough hold. It's a little clunky. Um, sometimes the yarn gets stuck, but, um, for right now, I feel like that's about, that's about right. Don't worry about this little piece. Um, I'm going to try to hold it away just so that, um, so it doesn't get in the way of, of me showing you this. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it around this stick. I'm going to take it. I'm going to wrap it around and then I'm going to turn my stick and I'm going to wrap it around. You see how I'm doing that? And then each time I'm turning the stick, it's a little difficult at first, but I think, I think you're going to get it. So, um, it's wrapped around this one and I'm going to wrap it around this one. I'm going to go over under to the next one. Over under turn to the next. And I do this the whole way. Over under to the next. Um, and I love these because it's so simple. And, um, you know, there's no glue, there's no tape, there's no anything. It's just two sticks and some yarn. Um, any yarn will do. I'll show you one I made with some kitchen twine, uh, which is, has like a nice rustic look. Um, I make these all the time in the summer. Anytime I'm around two sticks and some yarn, I am always making these. I my uh, I have a tree in the backyard that every time I make one, I just put on the tree. I like finding little sticks and I like making them. I find this really meditative and I just, I love the pattern they make. I love, um, I love how it's simple and I love, sometimes it's really fun for, for us um, when we're making art to do stuff that's repetitive. It's kind of meditative. Um, you know, we do lots of things that are repetitive. Um, sometimes they're kind of, uh, sometimes they can be kind of a drag. Um, sometimes they're not super fun. But um, this is the time, whenever I'm doing something um, that's kind of repetitive like this, um, it allows me to get, I kind of, it calms my body down. Um, I can, um, I can meditate, I can just think on stuff, or I can turn my brain off. And um, I think, I just think that's important. There's so much, so much of what we have to do every day is fast and important and, uh, you know, like, we could get in trouble if we don't do something right or you know, if we don't learn the right thing, um, all for good reason. But it's also just as important to have activities throughout our day that, um, that we find relaxing. And, 
And while we could just sit on the couch and kind of zone out, um, I like being able to do something that's relaxing and meditative that I also get a cool thing when I'm done. I like, um, I feel like it's sort of, in a way, it kind of marks the time that I spent slowing my body down, slowing my breathing down. I, I can mark it with each pass of the string, with each, um, with each turn of these sticks. I think it's just... I think it's good. I think it's important. And whether or not um, making this little craft um, is, you know, if you're just like, yeah, I'm not really into that. I don't really want to do something like that. You know, if you can find something, you know, that's similar, find something that you like that, you know, where you can, where you can slow yourself down. It's, it's kind of a form of self-care. Like we have to do all of these things throughout our day that are important for either the group or it's important for our teacher or our family. And sometimes we're so busy that we don't, we don't take time for ourselves. I mean, of course we all take time for ourselves throughout the day. We, you know, there might be a time where we, you know, watch TV or play a video game or, um, you know, just like maybe we're working on like a digital animation. Um, like those are all really fun, but it's also really important to be able to develop, um, develop skills and develop habits that are kind of low tech. Um, you know, if we're, if we're relying on everything being something that's plugged in, um, or where we are just, where we're not like an act, we're not actively engaged. Like when I, at the end of the, like in the evenings after dinner and we turn on the TV, I really like that. There's a, you know, there's shows that I'm, that I like. Um, but I'm just sitting there watching somebody else do something. And like, that's okay sometimes, but that can't be all. Like, if that's all I did, I'd be really dull, I think. <laughs> I don't know if you guys would like me as a teacher as much. If I'm like, yeah, you know, when I when I leave school, all I do, man, is I just turn on the TV and watch it. That's my hobby. That's it. I think, <laughs> I think you guys would be like, uh, oh, okay, Miss Amy. Like, that's cool, but I don't really... We don't really have much to talk about. So, you know, it's just, it's good to have something that is cool and fun. Uh-oh, I got a knot. Maybe that's the time. Maybe that's the time I stop. Or can I get this out? I don't know. Well, okay, I think I'm going to stop then. So I'm going to just, I'm going to snip this. Right there, it might not. So, what I have is a really pretty craft that, you know, it's all done with just that pattern that I was doing. Now, look at this on the back. How beautiful is that? You can see how, because, because each time I wrapped the string around the stick, it has this cool pattern. So how, what I, what I do at this point, you know, it's kind of, everybody can kind of come up with their own solutions. I don't really have like a, like, this is exactly how you have to finish it. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know it that well, but I kind of put a little knot in it. Maybe I'll do like a double knot. Um, if it's helpful for you to ask your grown up to knot it, that's just as well. I'm sure they would be delighted. Okay, so now 
I got this cool thing. And now I have a little bit of string over here that I can, you know, put in a, I can tie it to a tree or a window or whatever. So you might say like, Miss Amy, this is really cool, but what does this have to do with the cicada lesson? Well, my friends, let's say you've made yourself this cute little cicada. What I just used is I used some of those whirly birds from trees. I used a bottle cap and I used some string. On the back, I put this little clip on there, you know, like a little binder clip. And, um, and now I can use that. Uh, first of all, isn't that, that's just really cute, right? I can clip this onto something. Like maybe I clip it onto here. And then, you know, it's gonna stay there. I think that's pretty adorable. Um, oops. That's one thing. And it's all, you know, depending on the, 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 whatever little cicada you made. Here's another, here's another one I made again, using those whirly birds from the trees, but I found, um, it was just like a little knot of wood and it had, you can kind of see that little hole in there. What I like about this is I could put it, how would I do this? I can put it like that. And now, you know, it can, my, my cicada sculpture will stay on there and then I can hang it and it's gonna look really cool. I love that. Here, I wanna show you another, um, another one I made using the, um, uh, using the kitchen twine. It's a little bit more rustic. You can see the holes in it, but it's pretty cool looking too. For this one, you know, again, I don't really know how to finish these so well. Um, so I just wrapped the, I wrapped this twine around the stick and now I've got this long piece. But I think this would be really nice in my backyard. Uh, it sort of has the colors, you know, like it's, it's all natural materials. You know, these are just two sticks and this is the twine. Um, I don't know, there's something kind of sweet about it. Uh, you know, let's say like, Hey, look at that guy. I don't know. Like, I think, I feel like if one of my neighbors came across this and saw it, they'd be like, well, that's sweet. That's really fun. And I've never seen anything like that. And I don't know why, but it's making me happy.